Stranger Things 4 Volume 1 ends with a massive cluster of cliffhangers. Vecna's identity is revealed, but he still hasn't unveiled the extent of his master plan. And he's also far from the only threat out there. Fortunately, answers are just around the corner in the supersized final episodes of Stranger Things 4. He's not going to stop. Not until he's taken everyone. After keeping a Demogorgon at bay with nothing but a lit torch and sheer intimidation, Jim Hopper has had a weapons upgrade, and he looks like he's handling it just fine. Cutting through at the 1.30 mark of the trailer, the heroic Hopper stands tall, wielding what looks to be a sword cool enough to make Conan the Barbarian jealous. His specific location isn't that clear, but chances are he's still in Russia, searching for a way home. In the grand scheme of things, it's an interesting weapon of choice for the former lawman, especially considering the fact that everyone else in the trailer is tooling up with shotguns and flamethrowers. Go nuts, Murray. Hopper himself also wields a gun elsewhere in the trailer. This suggests to us that Hopper is likely facing off against some human opposition in this shot rather than the upside down's hardier stock. With that said, in a show that's made Dungeons and Dragons an unofficial guide to battling supernatural forces, it makes sense that someone is finally going to get a sword to do some damage. Who better than Eleven's fatherly knight in shining armor? Volume 2 of Stranger Things 4 will undoubtedly lead Eleven to go for a rematch against Henry Creel, aka the horrifying slasher villain Vecna. The only question is, whose turf will it take place on? We can't say for sure, but the trailer offers tantalizing hints that Eleven will be returning home, both in the right side up and the upside down. Judging by the latest teaser, we see Eleven out in the open air, away from the test facility she was confined to in Volume 1. We also get a final glimpse of Elle returning to where it all began, the Creel home. Has she come to save Max, Lucas, and Erica who look to have headed there as well? Or is this the final showdown that will close the door on Vecna for good? Just in case Jim Hopper and company aren't having a miserable enough time with just one Demogorgon, Volume 2 of Season 4 sets them up against more than one invader from the Upside Down. Toward the end of the trailer, viewers are treated to a brief shot of a Demodog tearing through the corridors of the Russian prison, apparently chasing Hopper. Familiar from the second season of Stranger Things, the Demodogs are the second-to-last development stage of the Demogorgon. While they're significantly smaller and weaker than the adult creature, they're still highly dangerous and can do a lot of damage, as poor Bob Newby and a whole bunch of lab workers found out during the second season of Stranger Things. Unless it somehow turns out to be Dustin's semi-friendly former pet, Dart, the presence of a Demodog in the prison is highly concerning. After all, it means that the adult Demogorgon isn't the only one in the complex. Will this be the sole Demodog in there, or will Hopper, Joyce, and the others have to deal with an entire pack? The back half of the trailer really ramps up the action, and includes a surprising moment in which Lucas throws a solid punch at his teammate Jason in an attic drenched in blue light. It's not surprising that these two have finally come to blows, since Lucas disagrees with the way Jason and the rest of the jocks are hunting Eddie and the rest of the Hellfire Club in Volume 1. Although Lucas tries to expand his social circle in Season 4, it's great to see him stay loyal to his true friends. Hopefully Lucas beating Jason is the bully's comeuppance for his arrogant behavior. It looks like the fight takes place in the attic of the Creel house, an important place the gang has already visited to look for clues about Victor Creel and Vecna. Clearly, this is going to be a key location in the final battle, because the trailer also shows Eleven screaming in the Upside Down's version of the house. Okay, it's time to talk about Nancy Wheeler and Steve Harrington. It's very clear in Volume 1 that Nancy isn't sure whether she wants to continue her relationship with Jonathan because of the huge distance between them now that he's living in California with Joyce, Will, and Eleven. But while she's mulling all this over, she starts getting closer with Steve again. Interesting. The new trailer shows off a couple of moments with Nancy and Steve making their way through the Upside Down, and it's clear they're trying to keep each other safe. It's entirely possible that they'll get together in Volume 2, and honestly, we're kind of rooting for it at this point with one key reservation. Although they do make an adorable couple, their love connection definitely spells danger for the duo. Stranger Things never lets us off with an uncomplicated happily ever after. Robin delivers a particularly foreboding line at the end of the trailer, when she says she has a terrible feeling that it might not work out for us this time. Uh-oh, surely that paints a target on Steve's back. Thankfully, there isn't long to wait. Stranger Things 4 Volume 2 arrives on Netflix on July 1st, 2022. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.